voices. The national choice, synergy in action, empowering patriotism, entrepreneurs for the sustainability of Nigeria. The national dialogue with this team that I've just mentioned is to go and talk to ourselves from 774 local governments of this country. The core youth, and when I mean the core youth, the youth that resides in this local government. To explain and to dialogue and to bring up all the government initiatives, ideas, and thoughts. The dialogue is an opportunity to build our work at this Ministry of Youth. Through dialogue, we can further push this forward. One, promoting deep patriotism among the youth. Enhancing entrepreneurship, provide comprehensive training and access resources and networks that support entrepreneurship ventures, increase business, startup sources, and rates of sustainability. Three, to promote corporations among ourselves and forget maybe I'm for this party or I'm not for this party and think Nigeria first. That regardless of whatever political party we have, Nigeria has been in existence before we joined the political party. And now it is time for us, in as much we are in the affairs of the government. And we listen to the government to how we stand, we do things together. Now, it is time for us to come together, cooperate, put ourselves together, and make sure that we move Nigeria forward. Because nobody will come and do it for us. It is we ourselves, regardless of whichever state we come from, ethnic groups, whatever we call it, we've made up our mind to come together, to cooperate. This dialogue is going to sit with, is going to be a city that all of us will sit together and make sure that we go down deep to the problem we are facing so that at the end of the day, we will not continue discussing the problem. We want to start discussing the solution. Through consistent engagement, support for the young entrepreneurs, training for jobs, etc., the ministry will continue to do its best to deliver opportunities, to act for opportunities for the youth of this country. I believe with this dialogue, we will further extend ideas on what we can do to support the youth to thrive. The majority of the young people in this country have one single problem. A large number of people do not believe, but that is our problem. The problem of unemployment. And that is why we are not engaged. And I've said it several times, that the only solution for unemployment is for government to provide an enable environment for us to thrive. Everybody can never be a civil servant. Everybody will not work as senator. Everybody will not work as minister. Everybody will not even have the idea of what to do. But when a maybe environment is being provided, everybody will try. We've made up our mind, and the government of the President Bella Montenegro have cited the place that we are ready to renew the hope of this country. And that is why the government is doing everything possible to make sure that the hope of this country is being renewed. And one of it is the initiatives that has been going on 
all over everywhere have had this government. We said the president makes it a very clear that no student, no student will go out of school because you cannot pay the school fees from any universities, federal, polytechnics, agriculture, whatever universities you have, institution. It includes that. Even if you are in technical education, you are going to have this opportunity. And I can tell you today that the majority of the students are not applying and getting this loan. Furthermore, he said we are going to include stipends so that even when you are paying, you will be able to get something monthly so that you can be able to concentrate and study more. In the further, I said there is a startup business that a lot of people, micro, whatever you start up business you want to do, this medium is available for you, and not this medium only. There is a youth investment fund that everybody, and this is what we are saying about this. You don't need to know me before you apply. You don't need to know everybody. It is no more business as insurer. Apply, and you are going to get this done. And you are going to get maybe the moon or the plant. A move on. In ITF, a large number of people never knew that ITF exists. As of today, we are battling with people to register the belief that is a fake. It is real. A training is going on in all over the country. Whatever you want to study, whatever you want them to train you on, is, is on, on the spot. The, spot. the, spot. the, 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 the registration the is on there. The super is there. I think you go on their website or whatever. Go and register. If you are not on their website, we have the regions in all over the state. And the training is at your doorstep. Not for you to come to anywhere. The centers, they have a private centers in everywhere. Just go. Train. A large numbers of what is happening to us now is skills. And together we put an idea also. It's part of the initiative. The Nigerian Youth Academy is on the spot. Very soon it's going to be launched openly for everybody. But now we have over 80,000 people getting digital training, whatever training they are getting on near, just to test run and see how it works. We have made up our mind that by two years of this government, we want, we want to as, as much, much as possible, possible that, that 30,000, uh, 70,000, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7 million young people, young people are skilled. Are and that is why we make our target that, that it is time for us to, to skill ourselves. And we say, National Youth Dialogue is an idea conceived, not political, but with the initiative of the of forum the of the special, special advisors and senior special, senior special assistant to governors, the 36 state governors in Nigeria, Nigeria in collaboration with other youths and uh, youth groups in the country, country along with the Pan African Youth Union. Union. The, idea the idea is to bring 1,000 young persons to Abuja on the 30th of September, September and having, having uh, the uh, opening the ceremony, ceremony on the 1st of October, October, October and then the and departure then is on the 3rd of October. The concept is to have 774 local governments represented, irrespective of your political party, irrespective of your religion or tribe or where you come from. Because whether we like it or not, Nigeria is at a melting point, with over 60% of our population being young people, and with a very strong disconnect between the leaders and the led, it is important that we bring ourselves together to dialogue, talk to ourselves, what are the what problems, are the and how can we solve the problem? problem. Whether uh, the, the NSAS protests, protests, protests and the uh, last end bad governance protest has, has shown, shown that, that there is a lot that needs to be done, done in the country. Therefore, Therefore the, young the young people are taking it upon themselves to say, instead, instead of going, going on the streets protesting, protesting with, without, without a leader, a leader we, we as special advisors and senior special assistants to governors in Nigeria must begin to take the leadership in our hands. It, it, the, the end bad uh, governance protest is as a result of some of the failure of government, whether we like it or not. But there is no how we can have a national youth dialogue without a government involvement, no matter how little it is, because Nigeria is not a, a lawless state. 
Nigeria is a country that is bound that with its sovereignty. And at the uh, forum level, we have different uh, political parties. We have different uh, uh, representatives, the National Youth Council of Nigeria, the National Youth Parliament, the Nigeria Youth Parliament, the Indibo Youth uh, Congress, the uh, RY Youth Consultative Forum, and other youth, Ijo Youth Council and other youth organizations are actually on board in making sure that we sit, dialogue, and come up with a communique not like the usual conference and summit that we usually have, where we come up with reports that are not implementable. We know that the federal government is doing a lot. We know that the state is doing a lot. We also know that the local government has a lot to, to do. But these 774 representatives from each of the local governments expect at the end of the program to be the good governor's ambassador in their respective local government, whereby various activities of the, of the government can trickle down to the local government. Uh, we also appreciate Mr. President for the autonomy for the local government. For this autonomy to take effect, the young people who are the majority with the larger population must take ownership of this. And for involvement, one of the things we've also lacked in the country is mentorship. There have been a disconnect between the leaders. And we thank Mr. President for appointing young people in his government who are now serving as our representative. A good example is the Honorable Minister that we have sitting down beside us here. For the first time in this country, we are having a Ministry of Youth Development. And we are also having a minister that is our own, a minister that we can harass.